Hey everyone, uh, this is going to be a, a, a video just kind of explaining how to use uh, the BIOS updater tool from uh, Asus uh, that you can get on their website. This came out about around the time uh, they released the BIOS update for the uh, Intel 8 series motherboards to be able to use the Devil's Canyon CPUs. What you're going to want to do is you want to go to the website, uh, you know, after you've checked to see if your board is, you know, uh, can can use the updater because only specific kinds can use it uh, and uh, because I have a Maximus 6 hero that's obviously where I'm at and then you're going to want to go up to uh, the support of uh, your uh, the support tab for of your motherboards page on Asus All right, you're going to scroll down a little bit uh, and you're going to find all this noise right here alright you're going to click driver and tools and you're going to select your operating system. All right, then you're going to click the BIOS tab. All right, so there's the BIOS tab. Uh, as you can see, there's a new uh, thing since the updater tool came out. But uh, a couple things about these three right here. Uh, this is the actual BIOS update. This right here. Uh, you know, if uh, you just want to flash with a USB stick, just come in and download that and put that on the flash drive, then flash to, uh, then flash from that USB stick. But the updater actually lets you do it from your desktop here on the Windows platform. So uh, if uh, you already have this and you want to get the updater, just go ahead and click this one, this part right here, to get just the updater. But if you don't have either one of them, Boom, right y'all, there's both of them. So we click that, and then we go down into our files, into the download section, okay, and use whatever unzip folder you have uh, to unzip them, all right? Uh, thing is, it is two different files, so uh, you do have the BIOS updater right here, and then come down a little ways, and which one, this one right here, and here is the actual uh, BIOS update. So um, I will say this, uh, whenever I open it up with WinRAR, uh, the BIOS updater is in uh, the uh, actual b uh, BIOS update folder, uh, zipped folder. So uh, I don't know if that's how it is whenever you uh, download just a zipped folder, but that's where it is. So um, go ahead and extract those to wherever you want. Um, I extracted the BIOS updater to here and I actually extracted the, uh, the Uf UEFI BIOS uh, here to its own separate folder. Um, this is where I keep my uh, BIOSes or BIOS I? I don't know. Anywho, uh, so what you're going to do is go ahead and uh, open up the updater until you get to this screen and then you click up the update application and it's going to be like hey guess what and you're going to be like shit good alright and you're going to want to run and so boom there it is right y'all so um, it directly came up to this screen but sometimes it'll say uh, hey you need to get uh, this specific thing installed blah 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 so uh, to remedy that, what you do is you come back straight back to the area where you uh, downloaded the actual uh, update and the up uh, and the updater tool. All right, let's go ahead and collapse that, and then you're gonna come to the chipset tab, and you're gonna uh, download an IMEI, the IMEI. So that's uh, this right All right, you're gonna download that. Uh, you're actually going to install that and uh, you know click all the nexts and stuff like that all right and then uh, reboot up uh, the update tool and uh, you should come up with this now uh, come up here and you click browse and then you go to wherever you put your uh, UE UEFI BIOS update which I told you earlier is in my uh, documents, and it's Rachel. So that Rachel, and that's the latest one. I already downloaded it, but what you're going to do is you're going to click that, all right, and then it's going to say yes, 
and you're going to click yes and then it's going to have all these things that it says you know do you want it to run or not run you just keep on clicking run keep on clicking run keep on clicking run all right so i'm going to say no since i already updated my bios uh, a couple things about this is uh, you know you want to make sure you close out all uh, uh, all of other applications uh, kind of makes it run a little faster or it does take up a lot of uh, CPU uh, nosity I guess you know at least on my computer it did um, you know other stuff was just running a little uh, slow uh, while I was doing this uh, also whenever you do do this you're going to want to uh, reset up any sort of BIOS uh, settings that you currently had uh, you know whether it be uh, you know clock uh, 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 clock values uh, any sort of uh, fan uh, values or anything like that any sort of memory values anywho I hope you found this uh, video somewhat useful um, if you've got any other questions feel free to comment or whatever so and I'll help you as best I can I don't know everything but you know what little I do know I try to share with most people so um, anywho guys I hope you liked the video uh, like and subscribe uh, and uh, if you don't like it and subscribe then oh well <laughs> I don't care <laughs> you guys have a great day